Greetings, everyone. Today is totally random. I'm going to book review for How I Learned to Fly. I read this book like a year ago, and I'm going to give my opinions on it uh, at the end of this video. But so let's uh, start off with the reason why I'm doing this. This is actually a fan request, so um, I think it was to Blue Jet Bumps. Blue Jet Bumps UK, yeah. I think that's who recommended it. Last time I checked, yeah, it should have been it. Anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and, um, yeah, I'm here to explain my opinion. My, like, with more details. Then I usually talk about books. Now, as you guys know, I, I did a whole Goosebump. well, as you guys might know, I did a Goosebumps ranking of the entire series, and I put this one very low, the entire Goosebumps series, the original 62, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I put this one at, like, the, the bottom four. And, but that was not based on how good they were. I mean, it was based on fright. I'm planning to redo that video eventually. Maybe for um, Thanksgiving? That would be really cool. Just as, like, a Thanksgiving special. Not for Halloween. I already have Halloween planned. Haunted Mask book review. I mean, well, yeah, actually that. And the episode review. But, as you guys know, that would have been obvious stuff. Also birthday video yes i know whose birthday is coming up on halloween and anyways yeah this this book was ranked very low and for that for that reason i want to apologize because that was based on fright but this book is actually really good it's actually one of best one sign's best comedic books it's still a pretty good book it would be in like my top 20s honestly based on comedy yeah maybe my, maybe my top 10s I think it should be, like, number nine in top tens. Anyways, yeah, this is a really good book concept. It's boy who finds, spoiler alert, of course, it's gonna say spoilers. Minor spoilers. It's gonna give you the basic plot. He finds flying lessons, and, well, not exactly flying lessons. He finds, a like, a mixture. He finds a recipe to make a mixture, which is, like, green and nasty, to make you fly. He eats it. Dog eats it, I think. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember that part very well. And, uh, they start flying. It's pretty cool. And the boy can just fly and fly and fly and fly and fly. <coughs> Anyways, yeah, it's really cool. So, it's a pretty good book. I'm just saying, on Fright, on the Fright premise, I'm probably not gonna give it that many. Let's start off with my favorite parts, and then we'll get to, um, what I didn't like about the book, and... What I thought was the, the the appropriate rankings for the book, like like out of ten, scary, like out of ten, funny, like out of ten, a good book overall. Anyways, let's start off with my favorite parts. So, my one of my favorite parts is there wasn't a lot of parts that really stood out to me in this book. One of them actually did stood out to me was uh, the part where he kind of has his own stage show. Um. At a park, I, I don't remember where it was, but since it's been two years since I've actually read this book, I just know he had a stage show. I think it was like halfway through the book. It was actually really good. It was actually a really good scene. He was just flying around. People didn't believe it was real, and they're like, "Oh my god, it's crazy, man!" It was cool, and their business was booming. He was kind of like a superhero at that point. It's like he was like fucking the next Iron Man. Jesus, man. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty cool, and. Another part I liked about the book is when they first learn to fly, that's uh, actually my only ever favorite part of the book because nothing really stood out to me. Okay, I'm just going to repeat that, guys. Not a lot to stood out to me. It was funny. It was, it was pretty funny, but nothing stood out to me. My actual, like, this is my favorite part when they finally learn how to fly when he first learns how to fly. is like chapter 8 or something. I don't know. Um, he does the mixture. Um, and then... And then now, they're like, oh my god, we're levitating, I'm flying. I think it was like a spell, I'm not sure at this point. Um, so yeah, it was pretty cool. I like how they just levitate over the house, the dog was there too. And it was just so freaked out, but it actually worked. That was pretty funny. It was actually really funny, honestly. So, uh, yeah. On uh, the next thing that happened, well, not the next thing. The next thing that we're gonna move on to... Is what I didn't like about the book. Like, the scenes that I didn't like, or the things I didn't like. Okay, um, let's start off with, hmm. 
and we're not talking about scenes. I'm going to say the parents. I didn't like the parents a lot. I really didn't like the parents. Um, the parents of the main character weren't really at all, like, cool or anything. They were just, uh, boring people. Uh, I, I don't think they stood out in the story. I think they were just there. Not for comedic relief or anything. They were just there. I didn't really like the parents. Um, let's see, what else did I not like? Uh, hmm. It's hard to say anything. There was a lot of things I did like about this book. There's a lot of characters that were actually really good. Um, there's nothing wrong about this book, honestly, besides it's not scary, which shouldn't be a problem, but it's a Goosebump book, so. Anyways, yeah, um, that is the only thing I really didn't like about the book was mostly just the parents. They were really boring characters, so yeah. Um, maybe um, the dude, the bully, or whatever you want to call him, I think his name was Spencer. Yeah, I, th I think his name was Spencer, if I'm not mistaken. The bully or whatever. Bully, sure. The Woner Boner. Sure, the Woner Boner. Anyways, yeah. Very... Just overall, nothing a lot I hate about the book. But nothing, not, not a lot that I like about the book. Let's... Now let's uh, get to the rankings. Like, my personal thoughts. Overall and shit. Um, so, Fright Factor... It's gonna be a four. Unless you think, um... A flying man is scary. Which I don't think would be scary unless you're, uh, very religious and you think, Holy shit, God has come down to earth shooting lightning bolts at Zeus. Like, Jesus, man. Jesus. Sorry. I don't I don't believe in God. I'm an atheist. Sorry. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know anything about religion. I'm an atheist. Anyways, um... Comedy, comedy factor, it's a 9 out of 10. It's pretty comedic. It's a pretty good book. Um, next thing I'm basing it off is actually let's do the illustration because uh, I just need to talk about this. The illustration for the book, it's really good. It's actually one of my favorites. If I were to do a top 10 illustrations, it would be 10. I like it because it actually um, kind of references Monster Blood Freeze cover art. And then also, same time, it adds something new, make him flying with the fucking creepy ass birds. Like, it's pretty cool. And yeah, that is that is what I I like the illustration. So we're gonna give it a we're gonna give it a we're gonna give it a nine out of ten. Um, thing I don't like. Why did we never see a real face on a Goosebump book? <laughs> we only saw one. I'm like, be careful what you wish for. It's the only human face that we ever get to see on a Goosebump book. From the original 62, I'm talking about. Because Jekyll and Heidi. I mean, your evil twin. Yeah. But seriously, it's just so weird. Anyways, overall, we're going to give this book an 8 out of 10. Based on the good qualities of this book. I'd never... And now, if y'all go, if y'all just get offended by me saying that it wasn't a good book, race on fright level, I am sorry because I do not think it is that scary. Okay, it's just a book, and it's not that scary. But it's still pretty funny. It's a good book. It's a good read. I enjoyed reading it, so that should say something. Um, and yeah, before I go, this is that's the end of the review. I want to show you guys this. My my copy has a trading card still in it. It's pretty cool. The other one actually still has the bookmark in it, but it's missing the, tr the two train cards that come with it. But, yeah, I have two copies. Maybe three by now, I don't know. I got them both from the same day from an antique store, which I just went to, literally yesterday. Got a bunch of books. If you, um, this video gets 10 likes, I will do a haul video on my second channel showing the books that I got. So, 10 likes, I'll do it. Bye, guys. See you guys in the next one.